In power system analysis, especially for load flow studies, the classification of buses is critical for solving power flow equations. A bus in a power system is simply a node where one or more components, such as generators, loads, or transmission lines, are connected. Based on the available data and the role of the bus, they are categorized into different types. In the context of load flow studies also known as power flow analysis, the goal is to determine the voltage magnitude, phase angle, act active power, and reactive power at various buses nodes in a power system. The newton raphson method and the Gauss-Seidel method are typically used for solving the non-linear algebraic equations governing power flow. Here's a more detailed breakdown of the buses in the context of power system operation. Load bus PQ bus. The load bus is a bus where real power P and reactive power Q are specified, but the voltage magnitude and phase angle need to be determined. Variables known, real power P and reactive power Q, variables unknown, voltage magnitude V and voltage angle, the majority of the buses in a power system are load buses because loads consume both active and reactive power. In load flow analysis, this is where consumer demand is modeled. Example, a distribution substation where loads like industries, commercial buildings, or residential areas are connected. Real-world scenario, in real-world power systems, a significant portion of the buses is load buses representing points where power is consumed by different customers. These loads can vary throughout the day, especially in residential areas due to lighting, air conditioning, or appliances. Industrial loads can also have complex power requirements, including heavy machinery or induction motors. Reactive power impact, for certain loads like motors or air conditioners, the power consumed is not purely active real power, P, but also reactive Q which is crucial for maintaining voltage levels. Reactive power management is essential because insufficient reactive power can lead to voltage, voltage drops and system instability. Power factor, load buses are often assessed based on their power factor, which is the ratio of real power P to apparent power S. A low power factor indicates a high proportion of reactive power, leading to inefficiencies. Generator bus PV bus or voltage controlled bus. A generator bus is one where real power P and voltage magnitude V are specified. The system controls the reactive power generation to maintain a constant voltage at this bus. Variables known, real power P and voltage magnitude V. Variables unknown, 